today's at-home facial is for smooth, hydrated, glowing skin, and I'm using some of my favorite affordable products. I'm starting with the Inky List Oak Cleansing Balm, and this is just going to help break down the layers of sunscreen and skincare that I had on from the morning. This is suitable for all skin types, even sensitive skin, and it has colloidal oatmeal with ceramides in it, so it's going to help support the skin's natural protective barrier. So I like to massage the product into dry skin first, and then I just add a little bit of water to emulsify the product into my skin. And I like to cleanse for 30 to 60 seconds so that I can get the most out of my cleansers. And then I like to rinse it off with lukewarm water. For my second cleanse, I'm using the Naturium Fermented Rice Enzyme Cleanser to gently polish, brighten, hydrate, and smooth my skin. This has fruit enzymes which exfoliate the skin by dissolving and removing dead skin to improve the skin's tone and texture. There is also fermented rice filtrate to help balance your skin's pH levels and replenish your skin's moisture. I'm also using an at-home steamer for this facial and I don't like to steam my face too often because I think that excessive steam can lead to some negative effects, but in moderation it can be helpful and allow you to have an even deeper facial cleanse. Today I'm using an ultrasonic skin spatula which is a device that uses high frequency via sound waves to collect dirt and oil from the pores. It's important to do this on damp skin so I'm using the Naturium HA Essence as my base. As I glide the skin spatula, I'm able to gently exfoliate my skin, remove stubborn dirt and debris, and give myself the appearance of smaller pores. This will also allow for deeper product penetration, and I like to gently glide this device and just really let the skin spatula do the rest of the work. This is also an effective device in gently extracting around the nose where we tend to get the most congestion, and it's a great exfoliation treatment that can be done at home for even sensitive skin, overreactive skin, rosacea or even acne prone skin. For today's mask, I'm using the Burst Brightening Tightening Mask. This has the skin brightening properties of turmeric extract, which also has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant components for a natural glow. And the red kaolin clay helps to gently detox the skin while stimulating the skin cells for a brighter complexion. While I'm waiting for my mask to set, I'm applying the Polish Toys Skin Smoothing Retinol Body Treatment on my arms, which is where I have a bit of hyperpigmentation. And after 10 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off the mask and I'm ready for a high frequency treatment. High frequency can be done over a hydrating mask, an oil, your serums, but today I'm gonna be doing it over my toner and this is the Polish Choice Advanced Replenishing Toner. It has essential omega fatty acids and antioxidants to nourish the skin's barrier. High frequency has actually been utilized by estheticians for decades and you can purchase the portable version for home use. This device uses targeted thermal energy to safely kill acne causing bacteria, minimize inflammation, reduce post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, and increase blood circulation to name a few benefits. There are many different ways to use a high frequency one, but today I'm just gliding it over my skin for an even smooth skin texture. I am, however, focusing the one a little more on the areas that I'm prone to getting breakouts, and for me, that's my chin and my forehead. I'm next going to use the Naturium Niacinamide Skin Mist 2%. Niacinamide is a great ingredient for reducing the look of enlarged pores and improving uneven skin texture. I love how Naturium has all different concentrations of niacinamide because I find that my skin works a lot better with lower concentrations of it. I also really love the Ordinary Alpha Arbutin Serum. I love how gentle Alpha Arbutin is, yet it's so effective at evening out my skin when I consistently use it. I'm also using another serum from The Ordinary, and it's The Ordinary Buffet Serum, which is a multi-complex blend of peptides, probiotics, amino acids, and hyaluronic acid to help plump the skin and target multiple signs of skin aging all at once. The Inkyless Brighten Eye Cream is my next step and it helps to brighten, illuminate, and blur the look of fine lines around the eyes. For moisturizer, I'm using the Naturium Ceramide Rich Moisture Cream, which has plant-derived ceramides to hydrate and strengthen the lipid barrier. For my lips, I went back to the Alpha Arbutin Serum and I'm applying it to my lips to improve the appearance of hyperpigmentation around my lips. 
I like to lock in that serum with an occlusive like Aquaphor and just as you would lock in the serums on your face with a moisturizer, you can also do something similar when it comes to treating your lips. I decided to go a step further and use the Paula's Choice Hydrating Treatment Mask for a dewy, resilient complexion and feeling of firmness. This has plant and vitamin-based antioxidants and I highly recommend it for anyone with dry, dehydrated skin. This also has barrage oil in it, which is an essential fatty acid, which is helpful in calming acne and treating skin inflammation. I've become obsessed with gua sha to not only increase product penetration, but to also relieve tension, tighten, tone, detoxify, and sculpt my face. I like to start by gently going upwards on my neck and working my way up to sculpting my jaw, my lower and upper cheeks, and I work my way up to my forehead. I carry a lot of tension and pressure around my jaw and this really helps to reduce that. I also like to do 3-4 to four passes on each section and once I've worked my way up, I work my way back down doing the same movements again just to get that lymphatic drainage. And you'll see once I get back down to my neck, I like to work the gua sha downwards this time around for drainage. I plan on getting more into detail about my facial sculpting routines in another video, but I think it's so beneficial to take the time out of our day or week to practice self-care, ground our bodies, and calm our minds. These skincare practices not only benefit us on the outside, but it's also truly a stress relieving ritual. I have now reached the end of today's facial. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it encouraged you to take time out for yourself. Please subscribe for more videos from me and I will see you in the next one.